all right what's going on this video will be started off by me saying all right just like all of them but another news this video is sponsored by shop carl's if you have not got a membership yet go over there to shop carl's get you a membership you get early access to new lures you get up to 30 percent off on items all the time and you get early access to new codes and stuff like that and if you do start a membership you can go use my code welcher10 and get ten dollars off your first order of 25 dollars or more so now we're about to talk about the bass boat electronics you cleaning them good cleaning them up gonna be staring at these suckers a lot for a while rest of the year pretty much we made as far as we could without really looking at the graphs we didn't do too well the whole time but anyways this will be sitting for the next we've got what do we got Oahe, st lawrence pickwick mississippi river we won't be graphing too too much but for the next few we'll be graphing a ton actually lost my lost my juice that cleans my grass for me well, i still can get it, it. there we go it does it for you? yeah cleans my grass for me just spray it up there just cleans it up for you so basically what we're gonna do today is talk about my electronic setup everybody kind of runs a little bit different configuration and that's just kind of part of it you know like you might like something a little different i like you You might like your mapping on the left i like my mapping on the right all that type of stuff's different but for me i'm gonna show you the way i go through it now i'm not sponsored by any of these electronics companies um these graphs units sonar whatever you want to call it these are just the ones that i feel like do the job the best now next year we might change some things up don't know yet just depends on how fast this technology comes out how good this stuff keeps getting because all these brands are fighting right now you know, the Garmin will come up with the best Ford face stuff, and the Rans comes out and catches up. Now, the Garmin's got a new one out. It's just so fast. This stuff is just coming full circle, and everybody's improving all the time, which is good for the fishing industry because it's not like one staying behind. They're all improving. They're all progressing. But all of them kind of have little kind of niches that they kind of fit into the best. So, in my opinion, Hummingbird has the best mapping. I think it's pretty much hands down. The Lowrance Sea Map is coming a long way, and I feel like on some of the lakes they've mapped, yeah, they're really, really good. Like, they're really good. But it just doesn't have the volume of lakes just yet that Lake Master has. And Lake Master's not slowing down either. They're always graphing more newer lakes, stuff like that. So that's one of the main reasons that I went with Hummingbird, especially at the console, is because I really like the Lake Master mapping. I, whenever I'm graphing, running down the lake, whatever you want to say, I want to have Lake Master up at all times. Now, you can do that in a couple different configurations with different units, stuff like that. But for me, I want Lake Master right here in the natural state natural obviously to my left i've got side imaging down scan i don't have it on right now but that's what i usually run if i'm graphing around look for brush look for schools of fish rock piles whatever it may be if i'm looking for anything under the water i'm going to run the top like 60 or 70 percent of my screen with side imaging and the bottom 30 percent of my screen is going to be down imaging and what that does is <clears throat> i always want to mark my waypoints on down imaging so if i ride over something i turn around ride over it again you just get a lot more exact waypoint on that down imaging than you do on the side imaging like if it's 80 foot out or 120 foot out whatever and you see a brush pile and you mark it a lot of times when you go to that brush pile your waypoint is not going to be not going to be exact but if you get on down imaging your waypoint will be exact so that's the reason i do that i don't use 2d sonar very often at all i have fished with some guys who really live by it and that's what they want to use they don't even want to use side imaging they want 2d i just think it's too inefficient i definitely like i i'm not with that at all like that's not what i like but I've, i have seen it so i guess we'll uh cover this another piece of electronics i've got is the camus actually has like electronic uh i think this is called the viper package this got a little touch screen stuff just going over electronics in the boat stuff like that it's got all my gauges stuff like that on it but anyways i guess you'd say these are electronic too but they kind of live well cameras it's got the works on that thing you can look up everything play music whatever you want to do power poles in the back obviously kind of electronics but kind of not that's my electronic setup the power poles you cannot go without them i mean just love them things when i'm fish shallow it's just awesome i mean just putting your boat in at the dock drop them hold your boat while you take your go park your truck all that type of stuff so let's go up to the what, front what units are these oh sorry these are hummingbird helix 12s gen 4 all mega side imaging all that type of stuff I have side imaging ran to both of them and but i only use mapping on this one only one I ever use mapping on is my right one so that's kind of the setup i'm pretty standard i mean i'm sure a lot of people do that kind of the same these are precision sonar mounts that i have up here uh you know they build them for all brands all stuff like that so they get one to fit whatever boat you have but obviously i have a camus and they got one that fits that also so 
Got to take my little cloth and my juice that cleans it for me if I can ever find it again. And we're going to go up there and clean my front grass and I guess talk about those also. Kyle has a lot of, a lot of nice things. <laughs> this is one of them. He's just cleaning this nice graph he has. Yeah. So what happened here is I had an aftermarket trolling motor handle. So now I have this trolling motor handle and this ain't going to break it. Be funny if it just broke it like a million pieces while I did that. This is a very light trolling motor handle. Had an aftermarket trolling motor handle on here that I kind of liked, but I dropped it onto the unit and it hit it on the corner and broke the unit. So that's not good. And now the graph is broken, but that's okay. I can still see on it perfectly. Like whenever it's, whenever it's off, it looks bad. Just like when you got spots on your unit or whatever, whenever it's off, you can really see those spot stuff. Whenever it comes on, it actually ain't that bad, like honestly. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> gonna get it fixed soon. I just broke it and we got tournaments back to back to back to back to back to back to back, so I ain't had time to send it off or nothing like that. But we'll get that dialed in before we head up north and go looking at them small mouth on this sucker. I'll have it fixed up. But this unit is a Humbird Helix 12, mega, side engine, whatever you want to call it, and is hooked to a Humbird 360. By the way, this is the Wave Away by TH Marine. That's what, I guess that's what like literally everybody uses, but that's also what I use to clean my graphs. And you roll it up like this and put it inside this little carrying case, then you just all dialed in but anyways helix 12 hooked to the mega live that's really cool whenever you're sitting still that mega live is the deal if you're moving fast it ain't, it ain't it's like worthless but if you're sitting still it's good the garmin on the other hand has live scope if you're moving fast it's really really good if you're sitting still it's still really really good the difference is the humbird mega live shows the fish a lot better especially whenever they're close to the bottom. It also shows you're fishing around rock, lay down trees that doesn't have limbs protruding upwards very very high, all that type of stuff. The Humber 360 is really gonna show that. So shell bars, rock piles, you know, pole timber that's laying on the bottom, even stumps, all that type of stuff. The Humber 360 shows that really, really well. Also when you're fishing those offshore, offshore schools or ledges, whatever you wanna call it, those uh, fish show up really good on the Humber 360. They don't show up very good at all in the Garmin. But, you know, that's just how it goes. So I, I use mapping on this one and the Humber 360 on, on this one because I want to have the Lake Master mapping and I want to have the 360. So I'll do it both. If I, you know, sometimes I'll just have the mapping up, sometimes I'll just have a 360 up. But a lot of times I'll have both of them up. I have a little bit of the screen to show the map, just kind of to keep me on my waypoint or whatever. And then I'll have the 360 on the other side. So it's kind of my front forward facing sonar setup. I've got, I've got both kinds. Also, presented us on our mount on this, and then obviously got by Motor Guide Tour Pro with wires ran all over it because this thing is an absolute machine right now. And this one has the pinpoint, it's 109 pound thrust. It's got the, it's actually got really good pinpoint. We have updated the software, all this type of stuff, and it's, I mean, this trailer motor is really, really good right now. Like they've, they've been fixing it, improving it, all everything they can as fast as they possibly can. And this trailer motor is right now some of the best pinpoint spot lock wherever you want to call it this is one of the most impressive ones to me like i really really like this thing so that's basically my sonar setup anything else hunter why do you feel like you don't need three units up front so i just don't want three units up front i could definitely use it where i could take the uh humber 360 give it its own unit i could take mapping give it its own unit and i could take the garmin and give it its own unit and that'd be fine but i just don't like having all that up here like i don't even like having two to be honest with you but i can kind of fish around with two because they don't really get up that high i try i wanted to keep mine as low to the boat as possible because i still want to have mobility be able to move around stuff like that and i want to keep mine as centered as possible so that i can still get up here because i do get up here all the time and obviously i get on this side all the time so I did want to have graphs sticking out both ways where it kind of hurts my mobility on the boat. So I really want to be able to be able to move around, have a lot of rods out, whatever I want to do, and be comfortable and not have a bunch of units get them away all the time. Because whenever I did run three, it's like I was always bumping into them, stepping on them, hitting them whenever I'm trying to cast, all that type of stuff. And two just seems a whole lot better to me. Okay, so these things are kind of expensive. So it's tough for people to be able to get Very expensive. Garmin and Hummingbird. So if you were going, going to have just one of them, which one would you want? Oh man, if you're gonna have just one, just uh, one? Just one up front. I mean, yeah, they're expensive. Just one up front. Uh, and one at the console? You gotta have side image on the console, period. You gotta have that. And then I'm gonna, have my, I'm gonna get the forward facing. I'm gonna get the either Garmin Live Scope or the 
uh, Lawrence Action Target, I think it's called. I'm gonna get one of those two for sure. And, oh man, that's tough. I think that's what I would get. I would just get like a 12 inch Lawrence to the front, which a 12 inch is super expensive. You might have to go with a nine, but uh, I don't know. I mean, that's what I would get. I would, but I, I feel like I like the Garmin a little bit better, but I don't like the Garmin on the console better. So that changes things. You want them to be kind of linked together. So yeah, I would say if you weren't worried about linking them, I'd get a Humbert Helix 12 for side imaging at the console and then Garmin 10 at the front. So that's what I would do. What if you had to choose between buying power poles for the back or pinpoint or spot lock for the front? Which one would you go with? I like, I like power poles 100%. Uh, the pinpoint's really nice, especially whenever you're catching the fish, retine, culling, in current, you need to do something in the boat, it's fine. But whenever I'm actually fishing, I don't care that much about staying in one place. Not for me personally. Now, if you get a school fired up or you get, you got the cast dialed in or whatever, you sit there, drag around eight or 10 casts, whatever, I get it. That's fine, that's all good. But for me, if I'm on the front of the boat, I am scanning the entire time with that forward face sonar. And that's, you know, I pretty much only use the pinpoint whenever I'm literally catching a fish. Or if I'm in big waves, big wind, all that type of stuff, and I need to sit still, but it's only for a few casts. So for me, power poles, 100% to fish everywhere.